Hi there, we are in the absolutely gorgeous uh, west coast evening sunshine. It is really nice around here when it gets like this, especially this time of year when the sun's still quite low in the sky. Just going to give you a quick update on how the front terrace is going. Uh, can't see much here, but this is sort of roughly what we're going to end up with in the long run, is this sort of border of large quartz stones, another one here, and then basically a gravel path in between. That's not the big design project. Um, as you look here, here's some of the the quartz that's gonna uh, that was here already that we're going to repurpose and, and reuse up here we're going to be looking at as i said a lot of those sort of scottish mountain plants like the prostrate junipers um uh, salix hirsuta things like that just you know the the kind of the the, the dwarf uh trees and shrubs that grow up in the very north of scotland um scaffold still here which is sort of slowing things down a little bit as you come around the corner this looks a bit like a giant jumble but I'm going to go through it piece by piece and show you. If you look down here, the carnivorous bog is all looking very good. Um, pitcher plants pitcher plants tend to look a bit rough at this time of year, to be honest with you. So, um, you know, we need to go in and actually just cut back the uh, uh, all the dead pitchers and just tidy it up a little bit and make it look pretty. Anyway, here's the terrace under the balcony. This will be one terrace been through this before really haven't we steps on their way to being built they will go from there all the way up to here terrace on one side terrace on another and a little square rect a little square a little rectangular bed in front of the house come up now here's a couple of there's a couple of very distinct um actually building features that have governed a few of the design things here not least these little vents are the under uh, the underfloor ventilation for the house. Uh, we need to be 150 mil below those, this surface here. Uh, and then this little close here is actually the, um, that's the tipping point between whether the water drains that way to the front of the house or this way to the back of the house. So that is basically a datum point halfway through that, uh, that close. Um, and everything on this side has to drain out that way towards the garden uh, and into the well, into the alpine lawn, actually. So, but as you've seen here, this is able to kind of see what we're up to here now. So you can see like this, this will, this will be grass when we've finished. So we're going to have a one, two, three steps up, cobbles through, straight through the middle of the, um, uh, the middle of the close. These wee steps up. Next terrace is getting built here. And again, as I explained before, you can still see We've got our little bits of red string down here. So a very narrow line of alpines with some, I think some spring bulbs, very narrow bed here. Very, really nice long geometric shapes. Anyway, the reason for this video is not all that stuff because I'll show you that when it gets done. The reason for this video is these bits, which are awesome. So this is the sort of the long view, terrace, terrace, terrace with the wee stripes coming out down to these steps. Still looking very scruffy. This bit here is the rubble garden. So you've got bits of brick and crappy old building materials and then ground up bits of sand. And stuff. This is basically for us to cultivate weeds um, because I am more fascinated by weeds than I probably should be. I'm not sure many botanic gardens would give you a pat on the back for having a weed bed, but we're having one. Um, then after the next set of steps, We've got here a rock garden. Now we've got a lot of stones in here. We're just gonna, we're gonna dig in some uh, horticultural grit and, and some sand just to give them something to get onto. Uh, the big issue with growing alpines in this part of the world is how wet it is. So we need really massive amounts of drainage because otherwise everything is just gonna die over the winter when it pours with rain constantly. And this is the start of our crevice garden. As you can see, crevices. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is kind of what we're looking for is as you come into the garden now, either you can, that's the wee bit I was looking at before where we're going to have the wee gravel path. But as a punter, as you come into this garden, you walk around the side of the house here and you're going to be, obviously the New Zealand Alpine lawn is on the left here. And what you'll have is this really nice formal crevice garden. We set steps up here onto the terraces then a, a looser and more sort of 
I don't know, more, more organic. Can you say that in a garden? Does that make any sense? But a looser and a more haphazard, I suppose, uh, rock garden here. And then up here, we're going to have the rubble garden and we're going to start trying to cultivate some of the, because there's some really interesting plants that grow, you know, in roadside dirt, uh, like anything vaguely like a dandelion I love, nipplewort, things like that I love, vipers, burglass I'd like to grow. Uh, apparently, things like fox and cubs, it's like, does that count? I mean, it's very, very, it, it does get described as a weed, but then people still plant it deliberately. So I think we're going to try and sort of communicate that. It's like uh, some of these weeds aren't that weedy. Some of them are really nice and maybe we should just relax a little bit and how we stress about them in a garden situation because actually a lot of them, if you repurpose them, put them somewhere like this where it's clear they're very deliberately planted. I'm kind of hoping that that will help, that that will encourage people just to think about them a little bit differently and maybe appreciate that some of these plants um, that don't get a lot of love uh, are actually cooler than we think. And actually while I'm here, this is where I break my leg at the end of one of these fucking videos, isn't it? Anyway, let's have a look at the... Uh, now, this all doesn't look super fancy, because as I said, you know, a lot of these pictures, they all die off, but you can see the new leaves all start to come through in here. And actually, after quite a harsh winter, look at that little guy, that's going to end up looking like this, just beautiful Saracenia species. Um, and we've got some sphagnum in here, some other other mosses and stuff like that. This is... and that patch that brown patch there looked absolutely dead but you can see it's starting to revive this is one of my favorite bits of the whole garden but this video was supposed to be about the rock garden wasn't it look at that crevice rock garden rubble garden and then up here really nice formal descending terraces sweeping into that gravel path around the house looks like a disaster at the moment give us a couple of months six months maybe be quite nice by then fingers crossed anyway can you imagine how much it's going to cost to plant all this up but at the same time how fun it's going to be to just go right from scratch let's just fill this whole area with cool stuff anyway cheerio